guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting reading to episode 3 of Assault Lily. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Can you set this up a little bit better? Because, like, ugh. I mean, you know, Vivi, you you happy as hell. You you. <laughs> um, because Union has that interesting bitch face that I've always talked about. Because including myself, I have it as well. Um. She happy. <laughs> In her own special way. She happy. <laughs> I The heck is that on my thigh? Jesus. <laughs> See, now you're just acting like the biggest fan that you can be, Ruby, but you know what? That's okay. That's like if you meet your favorite celebrity and you're like, oh my god! It's okay, Eddie. I know, I thought it would have been like a couple of weeks until Union would have been won over, not like two freaking days. I mean, yeah, that kind of says something, both good and bad, but like, I <laughs> We're just trying to be positive for her. Oh, that's some pretty ass water. Oh, food. Was this necessary, though? I I'm guessing it was, but like, oh. Ah, got you. Which makes sense. I mean, then that means the other two schools that we'll see in the game will also be like that as well.
Well, you still have a long way to go. Still got your ass kicked, though, huh? Right. So you can't be afraid all the time. That too. It is, but you know, because she is main character at the end of this, she's going to be OP as hell. But she has to be, though. I mean, I'm just saying. I know I would be. I mean, that's fucked up to say, but hey, do what you gotta do, right? Because he was the one who saved her. So, you know, she's going to be, you know, obsessed in love with her no matter what. But, I mean, yeah, Kaeda, you don't get it. It's just, it's that something that she has that you don't. Because that could have been when what's a face died. <laughs> Boom. Right there. I am calling that right there. And if I'm right. <laughs> Yeah, because, you know, you're so cold and everything. He doesn't want to lose anyone again. And that's okay. Not on your own. If that's a week, imagine like five weeks to a month. Mm, she don't care about that. It's just about kicking your ass. <laughs> Thank you. 
really? Why didn't you tell her that before? Or unless she had to automatically know, but I mean, still. <laughs> yeah, I mean, come on. You have to look your best form no matter what. Mm. Poor baby. The hell is that in the? Is Fumi in that group too? Uh, oh, okay. Oh. So she would be like the um. The Futaba, the Rise, or the um, Fuka of the group. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Well, you know, she is all about herself. I mean, huh. Loved her death, but you know, mm, you need teamwork. You also got that shield up, right? I get the fact that Union still has so much to prove as since she's been alone for such a while but I mean that teamwork bitch that teamwork I mean it's been two years since supposedly yes her, her partner died and in two years you can be cold as hell but mm -mm. I just want Lily or Ruby to just change that out of her. Eh, she hard headed. Mm. Bombs. See, do you see that hard headedness? I love her, but still, like, ooh. She's like a so oh my god. She's just a sore loser. But you know what? That's okay. Sore losers are okay, but sometimes she needs to know she can't win everything by herself. Oh my god. Um. You, you? She looks like Sakura from Fate. Mm. Yeah. And seeing all those weapons all and just getting like that head rush. Uh. Mm-hmm.
dude, she's like fucking. I mean, she's scary, like fucking scary. How can that be the same person? I mean, oh. No, don't be stupid and go in there by yourself. Say, she's like, with my love, I can calm her down. Very, oh my god, baby. <laughs> huh. Oh, we're gonna relive that, are we? Oh. She's smart. Mm -hmm. Even if it was just a teeny tiny little bit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, but can you with the, the little bit of noob that you are? I mean, you can, because eventually you are going to be OP. I, I mean, you got this. Yeah, I'm just a little afraid. So basically, you telling her she don't look her best right now? I mean, she looks pretty with the white hair. I'm just saying. Oh. No, she's not disappointed. No, 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 no. Mm -hmm. She so loves you. This is something that they would usually show for the last episode, but I'm glad that we're showing this in like episode three, but it makes me wonder how the last episode is really going to go. No, it makes me wonder if, like, all the spirits that the huge has killed, specifically all the other lilies, that's them. I don't know. I mean, we're going to wait until the end of the credits to talk about that a little bit more. I mean, in a way, yeah, with all the weapons, they're free now. They're able to be at peace.
Oh god, this episode was hard. Just, ugh. Ah, oh, Jesus. See, now you're going into We Cross. I don't like that. That hurts. Oh. Of course, she's going to blame herself. She probably has blamed herself ever since that day. You don't see her anymore, do you? true which kind of indicates that you know you're moving on you're you're happier now what the heck this episode oh my god i don't know why but i kind of got like demon slayer vibes from this just the fight and everything really kind of reminded me not the big episode that you know everybody was like oh shit i'm not watching this show because this shit looks good it's the episode where um Tanjiro goes like, I, God, I don't remember. The hand thing? The hand demon, I believe? And he, because he had already killed, like, so many of, um, what's-his-face's other students in the past, and Tanjiro was the only one who finally was able to defeat him. I don't know why I got vibes from that, and it just feels, I'm like, damn, that just hurt. This was just like, oh my God. I wasn't expecting it to go down this way, especially the way it went. Learning about Union and, and her hair turning white. And, oh, God. And, and just seeing the truth and, uh, poor baby. I feel so bad for her. But because of the fact is, her her partner has been here for three episodes as a ghost and watching over her and everything. And because she's finally able to let go and finally truly feel something with Lily she can really move on from it now and you can see because she's not really there anymore once the other girl turned off the light that kind of indicates that we're not in the past anymore for her and she's not always um having her former partner with her and such it's now looking at her new light aka Lily who she needs to protect for how many episodes we have like 12 13 i don't really remember but like oh it, it just in the way this episode also went it felt like it was the last freaking episode of the series because things like this gets like, like okay let's look at some typical other magical girl shows that do stuff like this with this episode it, it just feels like they they crammed it like all in one episode like here we're gonna have this in the third episode and it's gonna be like not like the mid-season finale, but if we're looking at something like mm, Symphogear or Madoka or kind of Sailor Moon-esque or even Pretty Cure sometimes because Pretty Cure sometimes does ish like this where they're getting like their secondary power because like we're getting very, very close in um, Nahagato healing of Pretty Cure where they're getting ready to get their secondary um weapon because all four girls are here and we need them to finally get it because we're almost to episode 30 and it hasn't fucking happened yet but it, it's like damn like I was expecting this to happen in like the finale episode almost like with Darling and how um Hiro and Zero Two came together at episode 
I don't even fucking remember because it's been a while. Whatever episode it was. And then you had our rest ending after that. But I don't think we're going to get that. Just because we had this in episode three doesn't really say that like episodes forward to the end of the series will be rushed. It just makes me wonder how that finale episode is going to look for this show before the game comes out. But it was a really good episode. I'm glad that we finally got the answers that I needed ever since episode one on Union's Pass. And yeah. It was good, and I enjoyed it a lot. You made me cry. I wasn't expecting to cry today over these characters, but, like, oh, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm a little upset that Fumi as a character is going to be, um, essentially on the sidelines, but she's still going to be there, but I get it. I kind of figured that out in, like, episode one, but I was like, let me wait until the show kind of gives me a definitive answer so that I'm not like, okay, well, why isn't Fumi doing anything? Why is she up here and everybody else is down in the field like kicking the butt? But I think it'll be really good for her because we're seeing different jobs for these lilies. And hopefully with Fumi, we get to see a little bit more of like what she can do for her, you know, her job as because... I mean, she she does stuff, but I still want to see more for her because she's a really good character. Come on, man! Like her VA, we got we got to make her proud. I want to make her freaking proud. I need Fumi to be still something else, um, in this show instead of just one particularly one thing. That's just my opinion on it. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction future. It's episode three of Assault Lily. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode four. Bye, guys!